when I'm doing my makeup by myself, if you want them to smell you through the phone. Today I'm gonna try and be a great vlogger. and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today, you guys, we are doing a get ready with me. We are going to brunch. It has been some time since I have went out to like a traditional brunch, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna be taking you with me. Hopefully we'll do some shopping, some fragrance shopping. We'll see what new fragrances are out. If you wanna see how I got this makeup look, please continue to watch here on this channel. I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwellings. So if that seems like something you'd be into or you want to become a part of, stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day because you know I love to know what you're rocking. Also in today's video, we are going to be picking out my scent of the day. I do have kind of a newer fragrance to my collection and then I also have a tried and true favorite fragrance in my collection. And I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet. I'm gonna see what the look is giving and then we'll choose a fragrance. If you wanna take it a step further, make sure you turn on your notification bells, that way you never miss a video over here. And come over, slide in the DM, and say hi on Instagram. All of the products that I will be using for today's look can be shopped at Nordstrom. And thank you so much to Nordstrom for sponsoring today's video. You guys, all of these products can be shopped at Nordstrom. They are your one-stop beauty need. Their beauty department is phenomenal. They have so many choices for you to choose from and they make it very convenient for us to shop. If you wanted to shop online, you can do that and get it delivered directly to your doorstep. You can also have it delivered to the store and go in store and do like a curbside pickup. You can also go in store and shop as well. I shop there all the time, so this is nothing new for me. I was so excited when they asked if I wanted to collaborate, if I wanted to partner up. Absolutely, I am in your store all the time, Nordstrom, and I'm always in the beauty department, fragrance department. They're always having Having some sales as well. People are always DMing me. You guys are DMing me like, hey Shrey, did you know that Dior lip oil is on sale at Nordstrom? 15% off. Shout out to the girlfriend and the bestie who sent me DMs letting me know that Nordstrom was having even another sale on their beauty. They had Dior fragrances on sale. So it's a great place to shop for those of us who love beauty, who love makeup, who love skincare, who love fragrances. I mean, you can get it all right there. So it's your one-stop shop. So I will encourage you to check out the description box because everything will be linked in the description box below. And you guys, this is the time to shop. There's a lot of beauty incentives going on. I know a lot of time when you go online, if you look, scroll down and read, it'll say gift with purchase. It'll say 15% off. So read it and take advantage of the sales. For our back to school girlies, guys who love skincare, makeup, fragrances, this is the time to check out the sales. So make sure you check out Nordstrom. Again, thank you so much to Nordstrom for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into this makeup look. Hey besties, welcome back. It's time to get cute. It's time to go to brunch and I am going to one of my favorite spots. This is a birthday brunch. Yes, I have still celebrated my birthday. I told you guys my birthday might go into September, okay? It happens to be that way sometimes. I just put a little bit of lip gloss on because my lips always feel so dry. This is Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. Everything that I am featuring today, you guys, I will have linked in the description box for you below. And and I'm using a new foundation. This foundation is by Chanel. This is Les Beige. This was all over TikTok. It was hugely popular. I went in and got matched. It looks kind of weird, but I've played with it and tried it out. I've worn it about three or four times and I quite like it. So I figured today we'd wear it and play with it together. As I stated, everything that I am mentioning will be linked in the description box below. This is supposed to be done with your hands. It's a lot of makeup being done with the hands. I'm not really a hand kind of makeup girl. So I'm gonna do it on my face, I've already prepped my face, you guys. One of the best eye prepping things that you could do for your eye prep is this Bobbi Brown. This is a Bobbi Brown eye base, so you put this right underneath your eyes. We're going right into this look. I am excited. I don't wanna do this with my hands though. It's kind of watery, runny, and then you just go ahead and put it right in. I didn't put a lot of, look at that match though. Do you see that? I didn't put a lot of lights on because I wanted you guys to get the makeup look and it's true essence. I'm gonna put the foundation on like this and then I'm gonna go back in. 
want to be extra. I want to be extra with the highlight as well as the uh, the eyes, but just with the lashes. I'm not going to do anything crazy when it comes to like eyeshadow. I told you I'm a very neutral girl when it comes to eyeshadow. For concealer, we are using NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is a really good concealer. It's one of my favorites. When I'm doing my makeup by myself, I could do it so well, but then when I have it on camera, I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to do all the steps, I'm trying to make it look actually cute, aesthetically pleasing as well. And I can never do my makeup the same way both times, you know what I mean? Like I'm always doing something different, I'm always seeing something new, trying something new, new makeup techniques, new makeup brands for today's setting powder for under my eyes I'm going to use the airbrush flawless finish by Charlotte Tilbury you guys this stuff is so good your makeup is going nowhere I set it with the brush as well as I set it with the uh, makeup sponge just because I like to really set it it's so hot outside so if you don't want your makeup slipping and sliding and you know dieting and dipping out on you you wanna make sure that you set it. I just normally set the center part of my face. I typically don't set the outer part. And then I like to go in with like a fluffy brush and definitely get under my eyes because that's where it'll, you know, the crease in will set in. And a lot of time it's because I wear sunglasses. And so for some reason it sweats a lot. Somebody needs to come out with something for people who wear sunglasses that it doesn't leave that divot there. I've been trying to find something for that. If you have anything, leave it down below. Um, that would be a really good thing. So I always try and go in with a little bit more powder and just put it there and carry like my, um, you know, my foundation powder with me just in case it happens to leave a divot there. But I love this uh, setting powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade 310. So this one here uh, goes with me well. I'm on probably about my third or fourth one of these. I love it when ever since she came out with it, I tried it and I was like, this is the truth. I have tons of makeup products that I love, but that is one of my favorites. So after we set the eyes, we're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury again because she is a Charlotte Tilbury kind of girl. Hello, I am in the shade, oh my gosh, you guys, this is almost completely come apart. This is uh, for face and body. Oh my gosh, I never knew that, for face and body. And I'm in the shade Deep Four, and it looks like this here. I use this for bronzing my face. I also use it for contouring, everything like that. You get so much product in here. This has lasted me forever. I ordered this, I don't know how many months ago, and I am still nowhere near through with it. I mean, I am hit and pan a little bit, but I am still going through. I like to chisel my face. I told you guys, I have the cheeks that are like Kanye West and Michelle Obama, uh, Carisha. And if you gain five pounds, forget about it. Forget about it. So I always go in. You gotta make the face. Mm -hmm. And try and carve in some cheekbone. I like my makeup to be natural, but I definitely like it to be on there. Like I don't want you to be able to clock it, but I need you to know it's there. I don't take the time to put the makeup on and you not know it's there. So we're not given a no makeup makeup look. We're given definitely a makeup look. And then I do go in and try and do my nose as well. Like I said, with these hairs, I try not to get it in those, you know, the hairline because then you have to go back in and do the edges again. <laughs> I have this angle brush it looks like this here and I just use this side right here uh, the tip part right there oh and then I think we're gonna go shopping today I'm just gonna keep the camera with me all day I think we're gonna go shopping today I do want to look at some new fragrances I also want to go into Dior I want to see what they're offering what they're giving what they have I have become a Dior girl you guys I also wanted to go into Chanel too but Chanel never has anything that I want I'm like I mean, I guess I'm just not in a place right now. If you are in need of a setting spray dwelling and you want something that's gonna keep the makeup on, no creasing, no fading, no melting, no none of that, you wanna pick up Charlotte Tilbury. This is a setting spray, like I said, for real, for real. No melting, no creasing, no fading. You guys, I have gone through, I don't know how many bottles of this. During the Nordstrom's anniversary sale, I bought the, um, I bought the one where it was two inside of the pack. I still have that and a backup, and then I just opened this one. If you see it, there's not even any dits in here, okay? That's how new this is. I think I'm getting a cold, not me getting a cold. And then I let this stay on. I probably use this three or four times, and then I apply it after the whole makeup look is done as well. I'm gonna put my brows on, and I'll be right back. I am really loving this foundation. If you guys have not checked out the Les Beige Touch Hydrant Water Fresh Complex Touch Foundation. That is a long name. 
I would highly encourage you to check it out. It's really nice. I try to turn the lights really down so that we can get a clear vision of what it's given. So I love this. Oh my gosh. And it's so watery. You just apply it with your hands, but it did really good. I put on, I would say probably a pump and a half and it's giving good coverage. So I like that. It's going to be linked in the description box below. Now we are going to go into our eyes. And you know what, you guys, a lot of times I get sick of eyeshadow palettes because I, I'm trying to pack like light when I am packing so a lot of times I will use this bronzer palette from Charlotte Tilbury to be an eyeshadow palette as well so I am gonna go in there uh, initially and just bronze my lids with this I'm not really big on putting on eyeshadow base you know as far as the base goes or whatever I probably should it probably would help the eyeshadow to not crease but I really don't get creasing cuz I don't know, I just really don't. So I'm gonna go in with this dual purposes, okay? I get multi-use out of it. I use it for eyeshadow, I use it for contouring, I use it for bronzing. I do have a new eyeshadow, well it's not new, but I do have an eyeshadow palette that we will be using today because I do wanna do a little bit more of a bronzier look. So I am gonna top it with a topper using this Tom Ford's Quad eyeshadow palette. I've had it for a while. I really, really, really like it. So that's it. I just went in there and tapped it off with that and now I'm gonna go in with this is he has multiple ones this is like the golden palette let me tell you the correct name of it this is an ombre palette and this is a honeymoon this is in shade 04 and look at the colors that it comes first of all it's Tom Ford hello if I can open it but this is what the palette looks like these are the colors they're gorgeous you have your gold color there you have a mauve pink a deep purple and then you have like kind of another color there if you want I'll go ahead and swatch these for you these are the colors this is like a deep purple here over here this is like a deep purple you've got over here your mauve your pink uh, lighter and then over here you have your it's a deeper pink there and then in the middle here what shade was that oh is that this yeah that's like a bronzier color which is really really pretty as well so all of these colors are really pretty they're easy to make any kind of look day or night uh, if you want to keep it simple if you want to glam it up it does have a mirror in the palette but I did not want to blind you so we are going to take this shade here Another thing I like to do is once I put the eyeshadow on, you know, sometimes it can look kind of powdery. I like it to look like it's, I like a glowy look. So I like to look like I'm glowing from within. So I'll take the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and I will spray the brush just a tad bit. Don't overspray it like I just did. Take your beauty blender or something that's not gonna get lint on it, dust it off a little bit and then just go in with like a flat brush. The brush looks like this here. Go in with like a flat brush like this and all you wanna do is just tap it and you're just pressing it in so that it doesn't look like powder sitting on top of the eye if you can see that there but it actually looked like it's glowing from within I absolutely love that I love that do you see how it just brought it to life I'm gonna apply some lashes and I'll be right back eyelashes have been applied and if you guys want to know how to apply eyelashes make sure you check out my very very beginner friendly tutorial from start to finish you know how to pick a lash for your eye shape how to put the lash on how you know where to place it how to let the glue get really tacky I have a full dedicated review on my channel just search my name and eyelash tutorial and we will come up but the lashes have been applied and this is what I was talking about when I said I wanted a dramatic eye look not necessarily in the color but I knew I was gonna go really bold with the lashes now I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of mascara on and I'm also gonna put some eyeliner on so that I can just deepen it a little bit I don't think I'll go in with black I'm probably gonna go in with like a dark brown giving it more of a sultry or chocolatey look I'm going out in the day, but it's probably gonna lead into the night, so I wanna be ready for both. <laughs> for the bold lash, we like Charlotte Tilbury. This is the legendary lash. You guys, I know you know about this, okay? I took this one from my handbag because I always keep it in my bag just in case my lashes start to act like they don't know how to act. I always like to go in and blend my natural lashes with the lashes that I put on so that it could just be one unit. You know, they could just be married. They're not trying to look real. There's no way these are my lashes. You know what it is. Okay, I gotta make the face. I'll be right back, because I gotta go in and get the bottom lashes. Here we go, here we go. 
eyebrows. I use a Charlotte Tilbury for this particular look and this is in the shade brown and this is called Brow Cheat. This is really good for getting the brows on. I love it because it's dual sided. It does have a nice spoolie here that it allows you to use to, you know, brush your brows up and then over here it does have the pencil side. One thing that's good about this side is that it's kind of like at an angle. If you can see that there, it kind of goes up on an angle so it gives you the perfect shape for your brow. Like my brows, they're really full. Um, in certain areas, I have to fill them in. And sometimes when I go, I don't know what my lady is doing some days, <laughs> but she makes it really thin on the ends. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want it thin on the ends. So we're trying to grow them out. I want my tail to grow just a little bit longer just because that's just how I like it. Brows, makeup, all of it, it's all personal choice, you guys. To me, I, don't, I, I tell you all the time, I don't follow nobody's rules anyway. I dance by the beat of my own drums. Shrey does what Shrey loves to do. And I like my makeup a certain way today, tomorrow, I'll like it another way. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I do it just like I do my fragrance. I choose my makeup and the look that I want to go with according to how I'm feeling. Right now, I've just been feeling very much, I don't know, I just wanted to do big, bold lashes. I am going to go in and put on a little bit, like I said, of dark brown under eye eyeliner, I guess you should say. And then I'm going to go in and waterline the top. I don't want to take it all the way to the end because it just closes your eye. So I just want to take it right on the outer perimeter, just from about here to here. And then that's it. You see there? So it just gives like, I'm alive, I'm awake. And then Bobbi Brown has these really pretty eyeshadow pencils. I have this one here. It's called Long Wear Creamy Shadow Stick. And this is in the shade Golden Pink. So I'm gonna go in and just do a little, you know, dot right here, dot right here, just to make the eyebrows or the eyes look awake. This is what this looks like here. It's the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow pencil, or it's an eyeshadow stick, I should say. And I don't want a lot. So I'm gonna be very precise. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna go in and put it on here because I only want it placed in a certain area. I don't want a lot of it. I just want a very small amount. See, that's it. Anything above that is too much for me, for my liking. You could barely see it. It just makes the eyes look awake and pop and open and it gets kind of a little bit of a, what in the world? Girl, I thought I seen something. Okay, that's all I wanna do. And one thing about me is that I'll say, that's all I wanna do. I think we're all like that. And then I just keep doing more and more and more. But seriously, that's all I wanna do. Okay, so that is it. Like I say to you guys, everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. That's my favorite part. It's blush. And get yourself a good blush brush. You guys, I go in with the blush, okay? Pick somebody else. I'm telling you right now, I am going in with the blush. It is my favorite shade. It is pink. I am a pink girl. I am putting it all here. And I always take it all the way back. So you put it here, it go all the way back. Put it how you want to put it, okay? This is how I put it. This is what I love. I'm gonna link the blush too. It can also be found at Nordstrom. I love their promise to us where they're making it more convenient for us to shop. They have more inclusion, they have more variety. So I really like that. And yes, I went in on the blush. Okay, so fix somebody else and I'm not done. I promise you, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna go and get some more blush. All right, but before I go forward, I have to take my setting spray. Again, I told you guys I use this about three or four times, especially after you use the powder. You always wanna go in and hit it with the setting spray and here's my handy dandy fan because she's fancy dwelling she's fancy keep your eyes closed so that your eyeshadow doesn't crease make sure it's dry and then I have to go in with some highlighter this is a highlighter this is hype real glow and this is by Mac you can also find this uh, at if I can find it I'll link it I believe you can get this too at a oh yes I, I love to glow I already told you that I love the glow. I believe you can get this too at Nordstrom's. And then I like to put a little bit by my eyes, you know, just, I know people say that's out of style. Like, oh my God, don't highlight, why? So my face, I can do what I want, right? It's like my fragrance. I could spray it how I want. I could do my eyes how I want. Oh my God, that's a bit much though. Oh, that's a bit much. Girl, I can't be talking to you guys. This is not even the brush that I normally use, but whatever. That's a bit much. <laughs> That's a bit much. Girl, I do love to glow. I mean, I always am over highlighted and over blush. Let's just say if it costs her extra, I'm gonna be extra. I'm gonna be extra. She's gonna be extra. Always. 
These are the shades that are in this palette. You can see my favorite one is like the rose gold. Oh my gosh, this palette, it, it's used. You guys, I use my things, okay? That's why it looks a mess because <laughs> I actually use it. And then I also have this one brush from NARS. Um, that's really good for putting on highlights. So you go in after you put it on and you just diffuse it so you don't ever want it to look like it's just sitting on top of your face. You wanna go in and blend it in. And I put blush and I put highlighter everywhere because it's what I like to do. So I'm not telling you to do this. I'm saying this is what I like to do. I told you I was going for a very glowy, dewy look. All right, now let's get into the lips. For the lips, I am using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense three this is such a beautiful brown if you like cork if you like chestnut if you like those dark you know pigment brown sexy sultry shades you are going to love this it glides on like butter that is one thing that i really love about it i haven't even had it long you guys and i already tell myself you need a backup i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you here and just watch how it glides on do you see that and that's the color payoff that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lips. So if you can see, it's giving that. I don't overline my lips, but one day I did it by mistake, you guys. And I was like, okay, full, juicy, luscious lips. Then I have this new thing that I'm doing. This is Charlotte Tilbury, and this is Pillow Talk. This is Lip Cheat. It looks like this too. I know this is, you know, a little hard for you guys to see the name, but everything will be linked in the description box below. I have been going in and just taking this. I have been going in and taking that and just putting it down as a lip base. So you see I did the pencil and you guys are always asking me about my lip combo. This one is a little bit different. I'm kind of, you know, excited about it. I also have the Pillow Talk lipstick that looks like this here. These are all the smaller sizes, you guys, because I always keep these in my handbag, but this is what the color payoff looks like here. I'll swatch it for you here as well. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. So you see the two of those together, right? It's already given and that's just on my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this a little bit. And I just tap it, uh-huh. Don't forget to pat or pop. Then I like to go in with my favorite nudie pink, and this is Charlotte Tilbury as well, and this is Penelope Pink. You guys, this is such a pretty nudie pink, but you gotta know how to work it, because if not, you could be like, what in the world? I am going to swatch it for you. This is what it looks like here, and you could barely even see it, so that's it there. That's it there on the end, so you can see it. So that's typically my lip combo. Sometime I'll top it with a gloss, sometime I won't. It just depends. And then you just work it in. You know, you play with it. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those numbers. Okay, so this is a finished look. I am going to go spray my face again, okay? Because I had to add more blush. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I'll be right back. Today she will be wearing her Dior Sunnies. Hello, Zwelling. You see what I mean? And these are the one Sunnies that I can wear and I don't have to worry about the eyelashes clashing with the frame because they're so big. They're oversized. I love the CD on the side. We absolutely love that. It's matching our jewelry. For jewelry today, I am wearing my, can you see it here? My Dior necklace. Oh my God, it's just all turned around. I popped on the light a little bit so that you can see it a little bit more now that the makeup is quite finished. I have my Dior earrings on as well and then I am carrying my favorite. I'm carrying my Dior bag here. Absolute favorite. It's a new bag it's got gold champagne hardware it does have the bag charm on it because I am a bag charm kind of gal I'm wearing these sandals these are super cute now you guys if you've been here for a while you know I'm not a huge fan of flat sandals but today I do expect to do some walking so I thought that these would be cute for brunch still still dressy still classy still in the gold frame um, as far as color scheme goes, with a little bit of rose gold, a little bit of pink. So these are gonna go well, it matches the bag. I am not trying to be matchy-matchy, it's just happening that way. When it comes to a fragrance, I have not quite decided yet what fragrance I want to wear. I have one that it's August, I need to wear this fragrance, and that is Chanel Loves Exclusive. This is beige, I tell you guys about this all the time. It is one of my absolute favorite fragrances by the House of Chanel. Actually, this is my favorite fragrance. A lot of times you guys are asking, 
what's your favorite fragrance from Chanel this is it this is beige you can see the dent in there the love is real it's a feel-good fragrance it's really good it just holds a certain place in my heart I absolutely love it it's frangipani it's honey it's a gorgeous classy happy upbeat jovial type of fragrance if you allow me to say that or, or I was thinking of wearing my new fragrance and this is Loewe. You guys, nobody told me about this fragrance, okay? If you watch that video, I found it in the airport and I fell in love, I picked it up, I sprayed it and I was like, yep, wrap that up, I need to take it home. This is so good, I don't, I don't have a memory with this yet. Other than, oh my God, I think I'm wearing this. I might mix the two, I don't know how they would smell, I might mix the two. I don't have a memory with this yet, but I might be putting this on and wearing this just to have an August memory with it other than me finding it in the airport. I like to create memories with my fragrances. So either one of these I am gonna wear. I have not decided yet. I'm gonna put my outfit on, see how it looks, see what it's giving, and whichever one of these scream, pick me. I wanna be the girl, I'm picking it. I did not pick Valaya. Although I wanted to pick Valaya, but I have made so many memories with Valaya. She will not be worn today. So it will be one of these. I'll be be back with the finished look to let you know I'll definitely capture an OOTD I'll get it in the rest of the vlog so make sure you stick around let's head out let's go to brunch let's have some fun again thank you so much to Nordstrom for partnering with me on today's video you guys everything that I have shared with you today all of the makeup products can be picked up at Nordstrom everything is going to be linked I also want to say this for my chest here because you guys probably can't see it but she's glowing darling and I did put on this Christian Dior Ja Dior body shimmer here this is what I put I shared with you guys before this is just a part of the prep that I do when I'm getting ready I also put this down by my um, legs down by my ankle and I smell so 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 good this is so good should you want to check anything out it will be linked in the description box for you below hey besties I'm back and I couldn't decide for my fragrance I couldn't decide for my fragrance girl get the mic in here I couldn't decide for my fragrance and yes I'm doing some shorts <sighs> and some reels and let me move the camera out of the way you guys it is real I cannot decide what fragrance I want to do so we are going to do them both I have the bright lights on so forgive it if it's bright I was getting some content for Instagram and TikTok, so I am going with ta -da! I'm going with Loewe 001 because this is just the vibe that I'm in right now if you watch that video where I introduced you guys to this or you may have know about it I didn't know about it I'm feeling this right now. I am this girl. I am about to go and spray, okay? I told you guys, if you want to be smelled, if you want your fragrance to get there before you do, if you want them to smell you through the phone, you've got to spray your fragrance. So I'm being modest right now. I'm just spraying a little bit. <laughs> but I'm about to go in with it. And I'm also going to mix it with Chanel Beige. I just think that... I just, you know, sprayed a little bit of these two together and they didn't clash. They went quite well together. So I'm going to spray this as well. I'll see you guys in the car. Grab your snacks, grab your stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna try and do a longer video. You guys, when I get out, I get so in the moment, I forget that I'm even vlogging. Today I'm gonna try and be a great vlogger. Wish me luck. Okay, I'll see you in the car, let's go. Okay, what? I No, it's okay, we gotta go. Okay, we gotta go, you guys, seriously, bye. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through Hey besties! Alright, we are here you guys. This is so cool. This is where we came, um, I don't know how many years ago today to celebrate hitting 1k on YouTube and today we are here again and we are celebrating 80k as well as my birthday. I mean, let's be clear, we are definitely here for my birthday, but all in all, it's a celebration. Alright, let's go to brunch. starving so I cannot wait to eat. I'm so hungry. Last night I don't even think I really had a dinner. That's why I'm so hungry. 
Guys, here at the Polo Lounge, this table right here was a table that Marilyn Monroe sat at when she would come and dine. And the table that my guy and I are sitting at is the table that Elizabeth Taylor would sit at. So this is like historical. So of course we are still celebrating my birthday. You guys, you missed it. They just played the happy birthday song. And of course I had to sit up and take a bow. And we have another celebration. I'm a classic girl, even in the ice cream, classic, okay? Thank you all so much for 80K. We are clearly on the path to 100K. Thank you for all of your well wishes, all of your sending blessings. Thank you, and thank you for the birthday wishes as well. All right, we found the pop-up shop. Let's go. Oh my god! This is a new fragrance, you guys, that was launched with, uh, created with creator director Mason Francis Kirk John. This is, uh, what is this, Dior Riviera? I have a full dedicated review on my channel. It is really good for me. I'm not getting a full bottle, but it is good. Oh, these are cute. Candles. My camera is saying something weird, which I don't know what, but this bag is super cute. I do like this. This is super cute. Looks like it's a towel, sandals, oh, no, no. excuse me. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Now this is gorgeous. Because I'm in my pink Barbie era, I have this one. I need to get a pink one. You know what? I think I might be really loving these. Let's look at that close. Oh, very cute. I think that's a medium size and I think this is size small. Oh, I like that pink headband up there. Really cute. So that is the thing that they are advertising is the Dior de Aroma because it is it. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of really loving the pink scarf. I may have to take a look at that. Just might have to look at it. I do like this print as well. This is really cute too because it's classic. It's, it's kind of like a terry cloth material. You know, jean is all the rage. Um, Colors are pretty, very pretty. We have some more over here, but white and navy. You guys, brunch is over. It was amazing. The Dior pop up shop did have really nice stuff, but the attitude was kind of given not appreciative. So <laughs> you already know how I feel about that. No service, no moolah. Okay, so I'm leaving. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go with you to the next spot because my camera is saying that the memory card is full. So if I happen to delete some stuff, I'm going to pick you back up. But if not, thank you for spending brunch with me. Thank you for 80K. Thank you for the birthday wishes, the anniversary wishes. Thank you for an amazing August. It's not over. And if you happen to see me celebrate my birthday a little bit in September, just pick somebody else. Okay, pick somebody else. I'll talk to you in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed. Stay fit. And definitely stay fabulous, dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with Vanessa. Hi. And I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let her ask what she. I stopped her mid track and said, "Wait, wait, wait! I want you to say it on the vlog what you're asking me." Go ahead, tell her. I walked past her and I have to know what fragrance you have on. Oh my gosh, you guys! This is my combo I mix. This is beige by Chanel, less exclusive, mm -hmm. and. Loewe. Love they it. They told me not to say it with a B. How do you say it? Do you know? Loewe. No, I funny. said it right, right? Yeah, I think you guys, so. it's Loewe 001 Woman. Thank you, you so much. You smell beautiful. Thank you. Yeah.